Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you the least expensive laser that was available on Amazon, at least it was a couple days ago. So I went on Amazon and I found this very inexpensive laser. I purchased it myself with my own money. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that. This is the Otour 7 watt diode laser. Uh, I was a little nervous because when they delivered it to my house, I'm hoping the person didn't just toss it in. Again, this is the 7 watt diode laser. It's a really weird number. And it cost me $39. I had a little bit of Amazon points on my card, so I ended up only paying, I think it was like 11 bucks for this thing. Again, the cheapest available diode laser on Amazon, and it's the Otour. I believe that's how you pronounce it, the Otour. And um, the funny thing is, going into this video, I mean, this thing is tiny. They, they did not have any available left, so look how small this thing is. This is my hand. Here it is. It's hidden. It's right there. Not only is it inexpensive, but it's ridiculously small. So I'm hoping that what we can do is we can come over here to my 3018 Jinmitsu. I'm not going to hook it up to the Fox Alien. Hopefully, and I think this is going to fit, it's ridiculously tiny. Uh, hopefully, what we can do is get this installed. Sorry, it's really crunchy. Get this installed onto the Jinmitsu. Look how small this thing is. I mean, here's my index finger. Blink. Let's measure it. Super small, two and a half inches, 2.5 inches, uh, three inches from the top here to the base of the laser, and it is one and a quarter inches across. God, this thing is small. It has a, I believe it's a three prong plug, so this should directly plug into the Jinmitsu laser that we have over here. Let's see, here is the instructions. It doesn't come with goggles. It doesn't come with a focal length. It doesn't come with any of that information. The best focal length is about 50 millimeters for the LU. This is crazy. The model number is LU1-2. And this says for the LU15 watt is about 15, 50 millimeters. The 20 watt is about 30 millimeters. Uh, this is neither of those. That is it. Doesn't come with much of instructions. Uh, the funny thing is when you go to, I'm going to put a link to this down below, it actually brings you right to the $299 20 watt diode laser. So I don't even know if this is available anymore. All right, with that being said, let's go over here to the uh, Jinmitsu and let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up and try it out. Here we go. Let's bring it closer to us. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this here. I have a um, three millimeter, three millimeter bolt here. That's just gonna loosen this up a little bit and now the spindle should just slide on out. So now I'm just going to unplug these. There we go. Can we go up? There we go. Okay, and now, hopefully, oh, look at that, it fits perfect. So, right over here, all right, so you can see in here that this is the Jinmitsu, and it has these four little cuts. They look like little triangle cuts right here. That actually makes it with, so that this, uh, so that this can slide right in, so it fits perfect. So what we're gonna do is just drop this in, and I did not plan any of this to work out at all. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just drop that thing in just like that. Let's go as far down as it can go. All right, we're gonna go just like that. Now let's go ahead and tighten this up. And we should be good. All right, so the laser is nice and snug in there. And now let's go ahead and plug in this to the laser port in the back. All right, right here you can see we got a laser port. So I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of bring it back this way and we're gonna take this and it should plug in perfectly. So we don't need that adapter that it came with. Let's go ahead and plug that in and we should be good to go. Nope. 
Now I don't see any switch or anything like that which will switch from laser to spindle. So I think what I'm going to do is this says spindle. I think I'm gonna just unplug that. That way it doesn't show that there's any kind of spindle attached, only there is a laser. Let's turn this back around. Let's go ahead and plug this in right here. We're gonna turn on the machine on the back. Red light is on. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and set up a piece of wood. All right, let's go ahead and get onto light burn and see if we can plug this thing in and uh, see how it works. Here we go. Three days later. All right, guys, welcome back. So it's been a couple days actually since that last moment that you saw at the video. I had something go on, but during that time, I came back to the laser and for some reason, I could not get this laser to turn on. Let me show you something that is going on with the back. I'm gonna unplug this real quick. So this laser, when I came to me, it's very difficult to see, but the red and the white wires were reversed. I couldn't get this laser to power on for anything. It just wouldn't work. I was trying different things. I was testing different things. And for some reason with the, with the Jinmitsu, the laser wouldn't power on, the fan wouldn't turn on, the laser wouldn't power up or anything. So I actually took it over to my Fox Alien and plugged it in and it worked perfectly. So I knew the laser, there was nothing wrong, but for some reason on the Jinmitsu, it wouldn't work. So I did a little test and I tried something out. I took out these pins and I reversed the wires, the white and the red, I flipped them. I pushed, there's, you could see the little uh, copper pins right here. I took something really sharp and skinny. I pushed them in, I unplugged these and I flipped those two wires. And that actually got this to work on the Jinmitsu with no problem. I plugged it in and it fires right up. Check it out. You can't even hear it, but the fan is running. So I don't know what the reason is. I don't know if the Jinmitsu is wired backwards. I don't know if the, the actual laser itself is wired backwards, but for some reason it now works and it has no problems. I also did some laser testing. I did some attempts and i will tell you that this laser is very weak it does laser it works but for some reason i could not get this three millimeter even at a hundred percent power i tried 20 passes i tried the focal length i tried everything different i could not cut through this three millimeter with for the life of me so i don't know but let me just show you i'm actually going to turn this around let's do a couple cuts and i'm going to show you how this thing actually works if you are just purchasing this just to laser and just to kind of engrave, probably is going to be good enough. It does, uh, it's not very powerful. But, um, and, and the wiring thing, the wiring issue where I had to actually rewire it, also a problem. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to show you real quick because again, this is a couple days later that I did some tinkering with this thing and uh, it would have really bored you on the video. So let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and laser some stuff and see what happens. All right, guys, I went ahead and focused the laser and it's very difficult to see, but there is a little tiny dot right here in the corner so that I know my laser is fired. I fired it at 10% and then I changed the focal length to about 50. So that's about a 50 millimeter focal length. I used my 40 millimeter block and then I changed my settings in the light burn to a 10 millimeter move. I pressed that once. So that went up 10 millimeters, which is bringing me to about 50 millimeters. And then this is not a fixed vocal. So I went ahead and adjusted a little bit and you can see there's a little tiny dot right there. So I know I'm about as focused as I could be. So let's go ahead. And now that we got it focused and we got it cornered and we're gonna go ahead and use in the settings, we're gonna use the current position. So what we're gonna do is it's gonna cut the file from this point. So let's go ahead and just do this test file, see how it works out. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and open up Lightburn. We're gonna make this full size. And what I'm gonna do is open up a file that I've already created for this. We're gonna try it once. This is gonna be the first time that I'm gonna run this file. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead over here to open. And then uh, I already have our test file, the Otour test file. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a grayscale circle 
and then I'm gonna actually do a thin cut because I'm using actually three millimeter ply. Now I'm pretty sure, I'm almost 99.9, I'm 100% sure that it's not gonna cut through all of this. This laser is not exactly the strongest, but I just wanna see how it does. We're gonna go ahead and just give this a test cut and go from there. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and send this over to the laser right now. All right, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna stop this because something is not going on right. Check this out. Like, honestly, it's not even making a mark onto this wood. I had, you can actually see right here, it's very difficult, but right here in this bottom corner, I focused in the laser with a little tiny dot, and I still don't know why this laser won't do what it's supposed to do. It's very frustrating, but at the same time, I want you to see why this laser might not be a good purchase. Uh, it's just not very powerful. There's something just not right with it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just kind of play around with this, see if I can... Uh, try something different and go from there. So when we come back, we might, if I find anything out, I'll let you know. If not, uh, I'm just going to call this one a loss and uh, go from there and show you the proof. Why? Because it's not doing anything. And it's focused. You can see right here, there's a little tiny dot. It's focused. <music> Alright guys, I'm going to stop you right there and just pretty much call it because let me tell you something this thing is not doing a dang thing i'm telling you what sometimes you just got to cut your losses i'm not going to waste any more of your time i don't believe that uh, this laser is well worth any of the money it is the least expensive laser that you can find on amazon it was only forty dollars i'm definitely going to probably just uh cut my losses with it uh it's not a big deal it's not a huge uh, dollar amount i could potentially return it try something different we'll try a different video but uh, the fact that the wires weren't right, the fact that it is focused, you could see down here in this tiny marks, I actually went ahead and focused and just let that power up and turn on. I know the settings in Lightburn are correct, that I'm getting full power out of this uh, little unit. It, it's, it's inexpensive, but you know what? Sometimes you get what you pay for. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and say, don't buy this. Go with the Jinmitsu get something that is going to be better quality uh, and then that way you know it's going to work so yeah let's uh let's try one more thing let's go ahead and try i'm going to go 100 percent power i'm just going to try some letters and just try to engrave something on this just to get something to show you with 100 percent power at a slow speed and maybe we can at least get an initial or something like that so let's go ahead and do that All right, guys, that is it. That is the video. So I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to give up on this laser yet. You can see right here, I did this Crawl Space Craftsman. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed to the channel. I do a bunch of these kind of videos with the lasering, other tool stuff, other builds, other uh, open boxes. So if you like that kind of stuff, you know, go ahead and like the channel. Really help me out. With that being said, I'm not sure if I'm entirely going to give up on this laser yet. I was able to do this Crawl Space Craftsman like and subscribe. Uh, board, but let me tell you something. This was at 100% power at almost a, at a very slow speed. It was like 500 or 400 millimeters per minute, and it barely touched the surface of this uh, whiteboard that I had purchased. And I'm not too thrilled with that power. It says that it's a seven watt laser. I had an Atom Stock uh, laser that was a 5.5, and it was way more powerful than this one. So I don't understand how they're advertising this as a 7-watt laser. Um, not too sure. I'm not going to recommend this laser, but I'm still not going to give up on it. If I find out, if I do a little bit more research, if I find some stuff out, if you guys know about this laser, some stuff that I'm not uh, getting, make sure you put a comment down below. I'll reply to all of my comments. And uh, yeah, we'll probably do some more stuff with this, maybe in the future. 
But uh, as of right now, highly not recommending this Ortur 7 watt laser. I put a link in the description below and it is not available. So I don't know if they pulled it or what's going on. You know, spend a little bit more money, get yourself a fixed laser. It's a lot easier to set up than having to do a, you know, focusing laser. If you really want something to start off with, this might be okay for you, but I don't recommend it because it's probably going to frustrate you more than it is going to help you out getting started. So get something that's a little bit more money. All right, guys, that is it. That is video. Again, if you like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Put a comment down below. I reply back to all of my comments. And until that next video, make sure I do one thing. Stay awesome. We'll see you on the next one.